Hello and welcome back to Match of the Round presented by Central Coast Football. This week's Match of the Round is Terrigal hosting Berkeley Vale. Joining with me now is Jaden Logwitz of Berkeley Vale Soccer Club. Now on this weekend you face the undefeated Terrigal squad. What are you anticipating from the game this weekend? Yeah, pretty much the same when we versed in the first round. Um, I sort of had the quality all over the park and showed why they're up there this year, second and, and obviously undefeated. So um, yeah, pretty much yeah, what they did. First time round and obviously speaking to yeah, the teams around the area, they all say the same thing. So. Now this next question is a bit of a fan favourite. Uh, who is, in your opinion, is the biggest diva you've ever played with and the biggest diva in the comp? Uh, biggest diva I've played with, diva. Oh, it had to be Sean Pratt. Yeah, he's been a bit of a diva over the years. Obviously played a few years with him. Obviously played with his um, yeah, his old man at the moment. So um, that has to be Pratty for sure. And in the comp? In the comp, it's well. I'll probably have to say probably Lobby from our squad. He's a bit of a diva. He's uh, he rocks up to training with a speaker and obviously game day and that. So he's um, yeah, he's certainly up there and, and his tune sucks. So yeah, he's he's definitely up there. Now this summer, CC ever opened a brand new five-side facility with players from your teams or the other teams around the coast. Name a five squad that you would love to play with. Love to play with. Alrighty, I think um, probably up top. I think we'll play with squads at one five four. Probably have squads up top. He's, you know, he goes all right. Um, probably on the left or somewhere in the middle there. I'd probably, probably have Reese Kyra. He goes all right too, Reese. Um, I mean, you could probably throw him in sort of mix there too if you want. I don't know. Sort of half decent sometimes. Um, probably other player too. Probably Troy Mumford. I think he goes hard at the other side and then probably at the back. Probably. Um, Probably uh, Buzzy, who uh, is pretty solid in pack. And then probably in goals to probably go with Perche, who's our keeper too. So. Solid squad. Yeah, solid squad. Lastly, can we get your predictions for the rest of the round, starting with Southern and the entrance? That's a big game. Big game, I think. Um, after sort of just going off what we versed them on, obviously, you guys last week and then in the first round, I'd probably say a draw from what I've seen recently. But, um, you know, there's nothing there. I think it'd be a good game to watch. You might know Avoca? I think Avoca might not like that one out at the moment. Um, I think they've, they've got um, some points to play with there still, so I think probably Avoca at the moment. Wungara or Woi Woi? Uh, I'd probably say Wungara for that one. Um, just obviously, um, sort of recent results with them. It seems like they've been stringing a couple together, so I'd probably say yeah, Wungara for that one. East Gosford, Wyoming. Yeah, uh, probably Wyoming for that one too. They've, they've obviously got a fair bit to play for still. So um, obviously East Gosford um, had a pretty tough year with sort of yeah their numbers and things. So I would, I would probably say yeah Wyoming was what stuff for grabs for. And lastly, Campbell versus Kalani. I'll probably just have to go Kalani. Uh, they're obviously coming for us for a reason, and um, I know when we versed and they played for the full ninety minutes, so. Um, yeah, well, thanks for your time. All the best on the weekend. Thanks, I'm now joined by Mark Pratt of Berkeley Valley. Now, you beat Entrance 2-0 on the weekend. Good result for you boys. Looking back on the game, what are your thoughts? Yeah, good result. As um, in the end, I thought you, know, you guys in the first half were, were very good. Um, and uh, we managed to turn things around for the second half um, and, and got the win. So, yeah, it was an important game for us. Now, that win on the weekend takes you up to... Fourth place, equal fourth, with 19 points alongside Southern. Are you happy with how your team's travelling coming into these final rounds? Um, not really, no. Uh, we're very inconsistent this year. So, you know, one good week, one bad week. Um, yeah, we're not strung two weekends together uh, too well this year at all. So, um, you know, our form is a little bit, um, you know, up and down. So, uh, let's hope we can get two together this weekend. Now back on the last weekend, how important was that win in keeping your final chances alive and how important will it be to carry that momentum into this week playing an undefeated terrible squad? Look, um, obviously we're getting to the back end of the season so every week becomes important. You know, we need to pick up points to you know, maintain a drive towards the, the semi-finals. Um, you know, Terrigal this weekend and undefeated. 
um, and, and by all standards the best team in the league this year. It won't surprise me at all if they remain undefeated for the, for the whole of the season. They're a very good football side. Now on to this weekend. What are you expecting from the game this weekend at Duffy's Oval? Uh, terrible at home. It's to their advantage. Um, but you know we all know that Duffy's can be a little bit unpredictable you know, if, if weather changes a little bit and you know, the wind changes a little bit. So it could be one of those games where we uh, toss a coin almost at some point in time. But they're, they're the favourites. They, they play there. They, they know the ground. Um, it's not somewhere where anybody really wants to go and play because of the, the surface. So you know, we're not looking forward to, to the game there at all. And they're undefeated and I would imagine that they'll, uh, they'll try to stay that way this weekend. Well, thank you for your time. All the best on the weekend. All right, thanks, Ed. I'm now joined by Marty Griff of Terrigal United. Now, this past weekend, you went to face a minor, but due to the rain, you unfortunately got rained out. If all things go well for your squad and you pick up the three points, your team will go back to first place. How much would a first grade title mean to this club? Oh, look, I don't think the club uh, nor I are looking past this Thursday night's game, really. Um, that's our first uh, focus, is to make finals football. If we get three points on Thursday, I think that secures it for us. Um, yeah, it's in our own hands um, if we win all our games, but it's not something we spoke about as a club even. But um, yeah, as I said previously, it's been 50 years in the waiting and a lot of blood, sweat and tears. And it, yeah, it's in our hands and uh, yeah, looking forward to the last five games. Now, although finishing second place the last two years in first grade, this year's squad just seems different and I think I can't be beaten. What makes this squad so successful, in your opinion? Oh, we've got a good group of players who are young, fit, uh, willing to do well for Terrible Football Club. A lot of them have come through Terrible Football Club, have gone away and played rep football. Some have gone overseas and now have come back to play for Terrible and they all want to do well and, and try and win the championship for Terrible. So, yeah, they're a good young bunch of players and wanting to do well and there's a good crop culture here. And like I say, we've got people now knocking on the door when they come and play for Terrible Football Club. Now into this weekend you faced Berkeley Val, who earlier in the year you beat 3-1. What were your thoughts on your opposition Berkeley Val in that game and on your thoughts on that game? Yeah, it was one of our tougher games of the season, um, up at Plume there. I think we controlled the first 45 minutes, we got up 2-0. Uh, Berkeley came out second half and uh, pulled them back. Then we had uh, Lockie Wilkinson sent off, so uh, it's back to the wall for the next 10-15 minutes, but we kept our shape and uh, we scored our third and managed to see the game out. So, um, yeah, it'll be another tough game this Sunday here at Duffy's. What can you anticipate from Burger Val this weekend? Oh, it looks going to be another tough game uh, down here at Duffy's. Um, Berkeley had uh, come, come up with a good win on the weekend, full of confidence. I think we just spoke about it earlier. There's six teams there now, all within three points, who are all pushing for those uh, top four places. So it's going to be a cup final for them, uh, likewise for us, because we want to take maximum points as well. And you say we're going for the minor premiership as well. So it's going to be a, a ding dong battle. It's going to be a tough game. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a, an exciting day down here at Duffy. It's looking forward to it. Well, thank you for your time. All the best on the weekend. Thank you. My guest at this time is Max Vector of Victoria United. Now, I asked Cam Wilco the same question about Archie back in round eight. And being a shortened season and you boys still undefeated, is there any talks amongst the boys of possibly going the whole season undefeated? Um, no, I um, straight up no. Um, we don't have to talk about it. Um, I won't lie, of course, it, you know, it crosses our minds. Um, especially knowing that if we do drop points, that could be crucial and that could, you know, obviously drop us down lower. But um, no, we don't talk about it. It's not, not a priority. We just take game by game. And that's, um, that's important to us, and that's just, you know, we get points of view down. So that's our main project. Now, last year you spent time playing up in Newcastle for Charlestown. How does this comp in your team compare to NPL up in Newcastle? Um, tough question. Um, I think it, it's, it's hard to compare. Um, I think, obviously, Newcastle, I think it's a little bit faster paced. It's, you know, a little bit quicker, you got to be on the ball, um, not as much time on the ball. Um, but, you know, our teams, are, we played them last year in the pre-season and I think, you know, we, we, we only lost 2-1, I'm pretty sure, off memory. And, you know, like that's, that's a good score for us. And so, no, team-wise, I think, if we play now, I think we'd have them. Now, I think I might know the answer to this next question. 
Is there any possible goal mentions for you or against you that you could be considered as a goal of the year? Oh, look, we've, as a team, I don't like talking about, about conceding goals because then as a defender, that's not what you want to talk about. But um, no, we scored some very, very good team goals, I think. But I think the standout for me, as you probably know, is against you boys, Ken Wilco. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> Great goal. Great goal. Now, Central Coast will buy opening a brand new five a side facility this summer. With players from your team or other teams from around the comp, what five players would you love to play with? Oh, look, I could probably pick a few players from other teams, but at the moment, there's only one team in first, and that's terrible. So I want to pick five terrible players. Um, starting off a goal with our own goalkeeper, um, Craig. Um, at the back, I would probably pick myself with Joy, um, and then I'll pick Connor with Tunzi. All right, well, all the best on the weekend. Thanks for your time.